Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to the workout. Unfortunately, again, Paula is still sick, and I don't really expect to see her in any workout videos for at least a few more days, but hopefully she makes an appearance in an out-of-the-gym video shortly. Um, so here I'm doing my overhead press workout. Um, you're watching my third set right here, which is the AMRAP set. This is 90% of my one rep max at 155 pounds, and I just got six reps. The first two sets were 70% of my one rep max for three reps, followed by 80% for three reps. I didn't show those two just because they're a little bit boring. And in between each set of overhead press, I did do a set of what you're watching here, these underhand pull downs. I just like to do them in between my sets because I like to get some more lat work in and if you see my other videos I like supersetting exercises to save time in the gym and when they don't impact the other lift I like to um, choose those so for example I would never superset like shoulder press with lateral raises because they both hit shoulders but lats and overhead press are fine here I'm doing a quick drop set also keep in mind I'm not exactly jumping back like with no rest between these sets so after I do this set I wait about a minute before I actually do my next set of overhead press um, so here you see as I'm finishing up my drop set I do go back to overhead press and this is going to be a joker set which is 95 percent of my one rep max since this is week five of st uh, week six on my five three one routine it's three reps so I'm just going for one set of three as you see I got that it wasn't easy but I did get it and after that I did do more pull downs in between however I didn't show all those sets because they're a little boring to watch so here's another AMRAP set on overhead press this is 120 pounds which is the first set that I did however this is for as many as I can do whereas the first set was only three reps this is 70 percent of my one rep max and I ended up getting 10 reps here, which felt pretty good. The gym was actually finally warm. We had a nice warm day today, so I was able to take my sweatshirt off. Usually I try to take it off earlier, but the gym just gets so cold. I, I really can't because I, I get cold and I can't get a pump. After that, we moved on to bench press. I did five sets of that at 60% of my max. So that was 165 pounds. Like I said, it was five sets, but I'm not showing you all of them. I'm just going to show you clips from a few of those different sets from a few different angles. It's relatively easy. However, as I get deeper into the routine and I'm increasing my max, this will be increasing as well. So it's easy for now, but it's not going to stay easy. And in between each one of those bench press sets, I did do more lat work here doing dumbbell rows. I like to start with my left side and then go to the right side because typically my left side is weaker on every lift however I don't know about you guys but for some reason this one exercise I'm very bad with it on my right side which is bizarre because right, the right side is my dominant side but for some reason it just feels awkward I don't know if you could tell but I could tell just watching it it looks better on the left side so I don't know it's weird because it's the only exercise where I'm actually stronger and more comfortable on it with my left side over my right side so let me know in the comments below if you have any um, experiences like that with any exercise that for some reason your dominant side is actually weaker and worse than your stronger side. After that I'm just finishing up with, with back. I like this chest supported T-bar row machine. It really isolates the middle back as I just did two exercises primarily for lats. I don't feel this one much in my lats. I feel it mostly in the middle of my back. That's why I like to finish it off here, and the chest support takes all pressure off your lower back, so there's really no pressure on the lower back whatsoever, which is good because I do a lot of deadlifts throughout the week, and I don't really need to do any more bent over movements for my back at this point. After that, I'm finishing up chest. I do some low incline dumbbell press. Here I'm doing 70 pounds. I didn't mention this earlier in the video. However, this is a week where on my accessory lifts, I was aiming for the 10 to 12 rep range. As you guys know, I like to vary those rep ranges on my accessory lifts. I don't like to do the same weight and the same reps every week. So last week, I did a bit heavier. This week, I'm going a little bit lighter for a little bit more reps, and I'll be changing it up again next week. I was super sitting that chest exercise with some bicep curls. I don't. I actually never did this super set before, but I was trying to get out of the gym a little bit quicker today, so I figured 
chest and biceps is a good superset since biceps don't affect chest, chest doesn't affect biceps, and like I said, I do want to get out of the gym a little bit faster today. After I finish up these bicep curls, I did just go to finish up on some face pulls. If you saw the last video, I am a big fan of face pulls. I think they really target the rear delts, and they're also very good for shoulder health. You just really have to make sure that when you do them, you focus on the external rotation of your shoulder, and I really like the striations that pop out here. However, if you looked at last week's video, I, Paula was there to take the video for me, and she got a better angle, and I think they look better than in this video, but no complaints other than those pale shoulders. I can't wait for summer to come around so I can get a tan again. I was supersetting that with these tricep extensions. I like to, when I do my triceps, I look to get all three heads of the tricep hit. So here I'm doing those overhead extensions on Sundays on my bench day. I typically do just push downs, which hit a different head of the tricep. And I just want to make sure I'm hitting all three heads of the tricep. Because the tricep is a tricky muscle as it does have more than one head. Here I'm finishing up with forearms. And look at the end of this video. I had a blood blister pimple thing on my hand, and it popped when I did this. And my hand got really disgusting and bloody. Um, so that's the end of the video. Uh, if you guys like the video, go ahead, like the video, subscribe, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.